you had a model update, suddenly you could do legal. What's the next step? Podcast hosts. Yeah. <laughs> I think that one you could do with like GPT-1. Oh. Um, but, you know, you have these steps. And so it's this ladder that you're climbing. And eventually you're going to hit a point where it can do all of human services, right? Yeah. And I don't know if that's GPT-7 equivalent or 8 or 6 or 10 or whatever, but we're going to get there. So you really don't think of it in terms of man-machine symbiosis stuff. Like stuff we're building now to do these services and win. Will those companies still be valuable in five years because they can replace it with AI as it goes along? Or is it going to be some new, is it going to be OpenAI itself that just owns all of those things? You know, it's on? interesting. You when, it? I, um, when I diligenced Harvey, I called a bunch of big law firms. And I asked them, how do you think about this? And law firms traditionally are some of the worst software buyers in the world, right? Yeah. They don't really innovate. They're locked down because of security and privacy and other very legitimate reasons. Um, but they tend to be very bad buyers, but they were adopting Harvey really quickly. And so I asked them, like, how do you view the future of AI? Or what do you think is going to happen? And I was surprised by how thoughtful and forward thinking they were on this, where they said, look, we think the nature of a law firm will change.